Okay, I'm doing this video because a friend who I was flying with said that he found the ground station and the video from it more interesting than the actual video flight itself. So here we are. So I've cached the map earlier in the day uh, and I'm teaching him how to do the ground station. I'm currently using a Phantom Vision Plus for this and I haven't done the satellite modification. That's the one where you uh, reposition the GPS wire uh, and possibly add tin foil. If I speed up the footage I'll note it on the left of the screen. Chosen a nice green area. There were power cables um, north uh, of the screen which didn't show up but we could see when we got there so we kept well away from them uh, and of course not over any buildings but close enough to look down upon them. Having flown into a tree on my second ground station flight, well actually th this tree jumped, um, we've gone for almost the maximum height um, in questionable areas, that's 200 meters, um, and descended through the trees just there between six and seven in between the gap. There, I've just changed the speed from medium to fast. Things are looking good with eight satellites. The best bit, letting someone else push the go button and just see the thing take off all on its own. Off we go. I'm using an iPad and recording the screen from a capture box shown in a previous video. That signifies the start of the onboard video. You can also see the power lines I was talking about now. Six satellites, possibly seven. Yeah, there we are, six, seven, flipping between the two, which is good. I wish I had a swimming pool in my garden. Control signal loss. I've had this happen before. I'm using the stock transmitter, um, but as this is being guided by the satellites, I leave it to it. Here we are reached waypoint two. Poor GPS signal, switch to transmitter control. Now I've lost transmitter control because I'm using the stock transmitter on CE mode. I've even lost control signal on FCC mode. Control signal loss again. I am in an open area, so this is quite surprising. And I, I've not gone that far, but I am fairly high. I can't actually see the quad against the grey sky. Uh, I do reposition myself to get as much control signal as possible. I've dropped to a satellite count of four. And it's back. So this is also a bit of an experiment really to see what would happen. Let's have another look at the map, see where we are. Okay, I'm not going to switch to control. Because the purpose of ground station in my eyes is that it does the work for you. And I want to see what it does. Now, the, the quad is still on course to waypoint four. And I start to think maybe I should do something now, but, but I'll leave it to it. If you look at the horizon, it's not windy up there. I can't see the quad, but I can hear it. I still have live video. Just check where I am. I've yet to touch the controls. My friend however was in panic mode. This didn't help, but it did sort of remind me that maybe I should be bringing it home around about now. Okay, I think it's about time to start bringing it home. Um,
So at this point, I'm now clicking on the, the return to home icon, if I haven't already. Go home, OK. Ah, failed. So I just keep attempting to do the go home. I'm not going to switch to control, manual control, until I'm a little closer. You can see me constantly attempt with the warning signs. Facing away from me. As it's quite happy drifting and trying to reposition, uh, I don't switch to transmitter control. Well, con control signal's lost anyway, so it wouldn't make a difference. Now it looks as if it's skipped waypoint 4 and on way to waypoint 5. Oh, the commands have worked. indicated by the red dots. Coming home, brilliant. And also my range extender now has only 20% battery. I'm still in the green, so plenty of time for the descent. It's around about now that I regain control uh, so I can descend in a circular motion. Thanks for watching, and I will definitely be doing the tinfoil modification for the Vision Plus.